Hi everybody, this is Brendan here with Common Motor. It's common-motor.com on the internet. And right now we're going to show you how to measure your head so you know what size helmet to buy so you can ride your motorcycle safely down the road. All right, so much like shoe sizes or pant sizes or any other clothes you wear, uh, you need to measure your head to know what size helmet to buy. And a lot of people don't know what their head measurement is exactly and how to measure it. So we're going to do it real quick on someone who has no idea what size their head is or what size helmet they wear. Corey, do you have any idea what size helmet you wear? Uh, none whatsoever. I usually just try them all on. So something fits. <laughs> All right, so we're going to narrow this down and we're going to measure your head to figure out what you know, size you are as far as measurement and then you can correlate that to a chart and then you know what size I'm supposed to buy. It's like buying shoes. All right, really simple process. We're going to be using this, this very basic um, little measuring tape here. This one happens to be a paper one, but like a fabric uh, measuring tape is what you need. And I highly recommend measuring in centimeters and not in inches. It's going to be more accurate for the helmet size, okay? So we're going to use centimeter measurement for your nodding. All right. I want you to come stand a little closer, right there. Right. Look at the camera. And I'm going to be measuring right across, right above the eyebrows, and making a full circumference circle like that around Corey's head. So I'm going to put this kind of right in the middle of your forehead there. Go ahead and hold it. Perfect. Got it? Right there. And I'm looking at about 61 and a half centimeters. Here's your head circumference. So 61 and a half centimeters. We'll correlate that to a helmet chart, and then that way you'll know what helmet to buy. Every helmet brand has a different sizing factor, just like shoes have a different sizing factor. So the 61 and a half is going to be your most important value to keep in mind because every helmet company does a little bit different. But that's it. Have your friend help you, measure the circumference of your head right above the eyebrows, and that way you know what size helmet to, uh, to buy. Of course, always wear a helmet when you ride because physics doesn't discriminate. You want to be safe on two wheels. See you next time. Corey, thanks for your help.